Hey everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. Here we are the week before Christmas. If you're watching this live or if you're watching it on replay, um, I, I still hope you're having a wonderful day, whether it's before Christmas or not. On this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can make some really nice tea towels for your house or for a gift. Uh, using some stencils, a little ink, and then some of these uh, premium quality flower sack towels that I showed you guys a couple of days ago from Walmart. So, it has been said, and I think it's true, that you can never be too rich, too thin, or have too many tea towels. <laughs> I know at my house, we always have at least five out at any one time, and I always seem to have a load of laundry going that has tea towels in it. So, um, I'm gonna just show you all the basics about stenciling on fabric. And um, like I said, we're gonna start with this. So as you're hopping on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. As we go along, if you have questions, let me know. And if you feel like sprinkling, that would be great. And, um, Oh, I was going to put, let's see, I wanted to see if I could just quickly drop a link. Here we go. Give me two seconds. Sorry, you guys. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm going to have to do it. I don't know what the deal is. My finger doesn't work on my iPad very well. Never mind. Um, if you want a link to look at any of the stencils or ink from Magnolia, just let me know that in the comments and I'll send you um, the information. So, um, Magnolia has a ton of really cute stencils that are perfect for tea towels. And this is one of the ones that we're gonna do today. This says farm to table. And then we're also gonna do this one that says, as for me in my house, we will serve the Lord, Joshua 24, 15. Um, we're not gonna do this one today, but it's a great one for a tea towel. It's a kitchen conversion chart, and then you get all these measurements. So it'd be perfect to have on a tea towel when you're baking. Uh, so let's just jump right in and get started. When you are stenciling on a fabric that's kind of thin like this, um, you're definitely going to want to protect whatever is underneath it, uh, especially if you don't want it to go from one layer to the back. Okay, these towels from Walmart have something that I really love that one of you guys told me what it was, it was Susie told me, it has this in one of the corners and that's so that you can hang it in your kitchen. I love it. These are super nice. I get this question all the time. Do you wash your um, tea towels before you stencil them? No, I really don't. Um, <clears throat> I will heat set them when I'm all done and we'll talk about that in a minute. And then I'll use them and then I'll wash them. Okay, so I want to make sure that I'm on the front of the tea towel, and you can tell that by looking at the hem. This is the back, obviously. <clears throat> and also, I want to be at probably, let me think, the other end of the tea towel. So I want it to be down here. The little corner thing is up here. Okay, so I'm just going to take some paper towels and lay those underneath where I will put my tea towel, and I'm going to fold this up so it doesn't want to fall off the table. Okay, and the other thing is I do want it to be in the center, so I'm going to grab my ruler and just generally get an idea of where the center is. I can kind of tell by looking where the creases are. So are you guys all done with your Christmas shopping and ready for Christmas, I still have a few little things that I need to take care of and I'm ready <laughs> to be finished. Okay, so let's start with this one. Um, normally, and let this go on here. Normally, you're going to um, fudge your stencils. 
before you use them, the green ones, because they're super sticky. But when you're gonna use, use them on fabric, it doesn't make a lot of sense to fuzz them on another piece of fabric, like the fuzzing cloth that you can get from Magnolia. So we're not gonna fuzz it. Um, you do want to label the back of your stencils. And this is cute. So my idea is we're gonna do the uh, utensils in silver ink, and then we'll do this part in black. And I think it'll be really cute. Ink, by the way, here's a little lesson in ink versus chalk paste, because I do get this question a lot. Um, ink from Magnolia is meant for fabric and for glass and ceramics. And um, it can become permanent on those kind of surfaces, that's not straight, uh, with heat setting. So when you're using it on a fabric, you're gonna let it dry thoroughly, and then you will just use a hot iron to press the, um, the ink basically into the fibers uh, with heat of your fabric that you stenciled. Um, it won't be permanent otherwise. And chalk paste does not do that. There, the, on fabric, there's just no way I know of that you can use chalk paste and have it be permanent. Sometimes when you're, um, like if you were doing a platter and you wanted to use chalk paste, but it wasn't something that was gonna get washed or handled a lot, you could use chalk paste for that. But if, if, if it was gonna get washed, you definitely need to use ink, okay? And you, the difference between the inks and the chalk paste are that the inks have silver lids, or white lids, sorry. So let's do, let's do the silverware first. And oh my gosh, I'm loving this silver ink. It is awesome. Okay, and I'm just gonna take some globs of it. And let's start, put my glasses on so I can see. So this would make a great gift for just about any occasion because, I mean, who doesn't do dishes uh, or have to clean things up around the house? Um, and it would be great just to have this for your house. This is a super cute stencil. You could use it also on a table runner or on napkins. That would be cute, on cloth napkins. Or even on an apron if you were doing something like that. Okay, so I'm just pushing the ink through the holes of my stencil. And I just wanna make sure that I got it through all oh. Okay, so let's do the bottom of the silverware. So at my house, tea towels don't last very long because certain people use them to do things like clean out the coffee maker. So I feel like I'm always making new ones. And um, they're so inexpensive. This set that we just are using right now was from Walmart. It's, oh, let me tell you where it is in the store. Okay, it's in the craft section. It's not with the uh, dish towels and in the housewares. So it's in the craft section and it's on this, at my store anyways, it's on this display that has, um, it has embroidery hoops and things like that. Okay, so let's get the black out, and I think I'm gonna use a smaller squeegee. Do I want to? I don't know. It's gonna start with a little, of, little bit of it. Oops. I already got it on my silverware, darn it. Okay. 
Oh, so me. <laughs> Almost, I feel like every project I do has a boo-boo or two or three. So I just, I just get over it. I don't um, worry about having boo-boos too much. Okay, I'm just scooting my chair this way because my little tripod thing is turning again or twisting or something. And so I'm just gonna twist with it instead of fighting it. Did you guys see my house tour yesterday? That was so fun. Oh my gosh, and you guys were so sweet to me, the things that you said. Um, it was fun to show you the progress of our house with all the projects that we've had going on. And then it was fun to show you my Christmas decorations. It was really fun to show you, this is what this looks like. It was really fun to show you guys all the different areas where I have the projects that we make here incorporated into my house. Oh, this looks so good. Ah, I love it. Now let me throw my little stencil face down in the water. And I will pick this up and show it to you. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And you know what? You could do this same one with any color that you like. I do really like the, um, the silver ink for the silverware. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty cute. Okay, so I'm gonna just lay it right here off to the side so I don't mess it up. All right, and you can see where um, the ink did go through my paper towel. So I'm just gonna fold that over. <laughs> And now we're gonna do this one. As for me and my house, uh, we will serve the Lord, Joshua 2.45. I think it's, well, you know, I'm always talking about how great it is to have Bible verses throughout your house. Uh, and so tea towels are just one more place that you can do that. All right, I'm gonna look at this tea towel and figure out what is the front and the back and where that corner is. And so, we're gonna put, do it this way. I'm sort of using my paper towel underneath as the, uh, telling me where to put my stencil. Okay, I think that's about right. Right now I'm wishing that I would have bought more of these when I was at Walmart. Like I said, if you're just joining me, um, thanks for hopping on. Uh, we're making just an everyday item. We're making tea towels using this set of flower sack towels from Walmart. They are a little bit thicker than what I normally get. These are not in the um, housewares department. They're in the crafting section by embroidery hoops. They're a hundred percent cotton and they are a little bit thicker and also I have lots of these in my kitchen that I've done. They wear nicer too. Um, so what I said to everybody here at the first was you can never, how does that saying go? You can never be too rich, too young, too thin, or have too many tea towels. That's how I, I think that saying should go. Okay, so as usual, I labeled the back of it. And if we were working on something else, we would fuzz it, but we're no need to do that because we're on fabric. Just want it to be sort of straight. Although this is one of those stencils that kind of goes sort of up to the side a little bit, so it's not as super important. Okay, for this one, I this is going to be for my house, and I am using a lot of blues and greens and turquoise colors. So I thought we would just do a big mix of different colors of ink, and we're gonna use this one, 
which is called, this cannot be forest green. I don't know what the name of this one is. It's the teal color. Um, and then we're going to use this blue ink. And then we're going to use the magnolia green ink. I love this color. And so I am just going to kind of, it's going to be kind of tie-dye. And um, let me see, I need some more of these little scooper things. These are something you can get from Magnolia. Um, and if you want links, just say link, because I'm sorry, I could not get, I could not pin my link. Um, okay, so these are little stirrers that come a set of 12. This is the stencil cleaner sponge that I love and I highly recommend it, seriously. Okay, so I'm gonna just take some scoops and put them here and there. keep sliding this way as long as my <laughs> tripod keeps twisting. Yeah, this does not look like forest green. I don't know, maybe I have the wrong lid on it. It's a possibility. Okay, and then let's get some of this dark blue. This is a really pretty color. And as we go into spring, I think it's fun to do a lot of blues and greens. That reminds me totally of the beach. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take a, a squeegee. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I think you can, pretty much. And I'm gonna just sort of go whoop de doop de pick up a little green, put a little blue there. I do want to, as much as possible, mix my colors up here. I'll lift this up in just a second and show you. So I'm just grabbing different colors here and there. So tomorrow is Sunday, and I've been thinking about what I'm going to do for this week's Christ and Crafting, and I think that we're going to talk about um, this song. I've already talked about it once before, but we're going to talk about it again, more specific about Christmas and a few things like that, but it's the... the the quote that says, Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper, Light in the Darkness, my God, that is what you are. Um, I'm just looking over here at my actual stencil. I, I've got it ready. I'm starting to think about, well, I pretty much already know what I'm going to tell you, but I'm starting to think about the craft. So I hope you'll join me tomorrow. Sundays are my favorite day of the week. And... Um, yeah. Okay, so this is what our tea towel looks like right now. And I'm just going to pull it off. As I pull it up, I'm going to peek a little bit to see. Ooh, this is really cool. Oh my gosh. If I don't say so myself, I did a really good job. Oh wow, this is so pretty. I'm going to have to do more things with this combination of colors. Do you see one little spot where it could use a little bit more? OK, 
Okay. Oh, wait, there's another spot. Sometimes I'm just not pushing hard enough or I'm not seeing where I am. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, don't fall off my desk, please. So this is what it looks like, which I don't know, it might be hard for you to tell in this light, but it's a really nice mix of those three colors. This is gonna be great in my kitchen. And you can combine absolutely any colors that you like. Um, and there's a lot of great colors of ink that Magnolia has. So, okay, so now to make this permanent so that you can wash and dry it, uh, you're gonna wanna heat set it with a hot iron. First thing is let it dry completely, okay? And then you're just gonna take a hot iron. I like to put something in between my tea towel and my iron, like a piece of parchment paper or another one of these thin tea towels. And I'll just go over and over and over it for a couple of minutes. Most of the time I'll flip it over and I'll do the underneath too. And, um, but I'll wait till it's dry, obviously, because if you put an iron on it right now, it's gonna smear it everywhere. And um, then the first time I wash it, I usually wash it yeah, on cool. Um, but I've had really good luck with my tea towels holding up really well until they get used by somebody in this house to clean the coffee maker and then they have brown stains all over them and then it's time to make 10 more. So anyways, that, those were the two projects. This was the first one. Farm to table. We used black ink, but you could use any color for that. And then we used the silver ink. And then we used this one that says, as for me in my house, we will serve the Lord. And um, tea towels are such an easy thing to do. And um, if you just need a little something gift for somebody for a birthday or, you know, if you're going over to their house or just for a friend or your mom or your sister, just because, uh, you can make these tea towels for around $2 a piece. And who doesn't love to get something like that? So there's tons of stencils that Magnolia has that would be totally appropriate for a tea towel. And um, when I get off now, I'm going to look at all your comments. Okay, I'm seeing some of them. You guys are funny. These tea towels came from Walmart. Maybe you didn't see my uh, live the other day, right after I got back from Walmart, because I showed you everything I got. This is what they look like. They're in the craft section next to embroidery hoops. They're Aunt Martha's Premium Quality Flower Sack Towels. I'll take a picture of this label and I'll put it in the comments. Also, I will um, go back to the very top of the comments and I'll drop a link to my website because if you are going to go there and look around, I'd love for you to go through my website. Um, that helps me. And um, But let me know if you have questions. Feel free to sprinkle. And I can't wait to get off now and read what everyone is saying. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. When these are sufficiently dry, I will heat set them and then I will take pictures of them and I will put those in the comments as well. So thanks for joining me. Have a great rest of your day.